Hello. Hello. How are you? Ah, Mira, oh, it's you. Good. Perfect. <laughs> oh, yeah. I forgot to write my name there. So you have a different fine. name now. I can quickly add you as a I had to insert. Okay, I'll go back again. I had to insert a name again. I don't know why. It's okay. That's it's fine. Okay. Don't worry. Yeah. Maybe for the others. Oh, I. It's okay, I think. Okay. How are you? Very good. How are you? So you're on interpretation now, huh? We we changed to English as a channel. Okay. Can you hear me? Yes. yes. Perfect. Okay, so it seems to be some problem with the battery. Um, now it's on charging, but okay. Okay. Well, it looks good. How are you? Fine. Fine, very good. Yeah. Uh, no, uh, I, I may not be needed for this first session, but I wanted to join just to, to, to listen for myself. But since oh, it, 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 it would help a lot, yeah, if you can. Because Should we let she you said, understand? Oh, sorry. sorry. Sorry, Philip. Um, Sidida said that I was not needed for the first session and I just joined because I was curious just to... to, to I think it's, it's very good. But since you're here. here now, I can translate for you everything that's happening because they are all Albanians, she said, and they can communicate. That's Perfect. Good. Yeah, no, it helps. It helps a lot. Great. So that's why I'm here. Hello, Edlira. Hello. Hello, Irena. <laughs> hey. So, and uh, Dorina and Mirella are here too. And Hello. 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 Hey. Hi, Gerda. Hello, Gerda. Hello. Hello. Uh -huh. First night, Gerda. Uh -huh. How is the beach, Gerda? Uh, it's raining today. Oh. <laughs> now it's shining. <laughs> huh? Now it's shining. Is it there, Mia? So hello everybody. I think we're complete. Um, the, um, the translation is going to be on the Spanish channel if you need uh, translation to Albanian. Otherwise, just switch to the English channel if you want to listen to to English. Okay. So thanks so much for joining. Uh, going to be a really quick quick session 15 to maximum 10, 20 minutes um, first of all did you have any questions regard, regarding the last the last workshop like what we did what we showed you or was that understandable for me was everything understandable so uh, i don't have any question okay perfect okay Okay, so no questions. Great. Uh, so what about the, the homework you, you got, like the, the persona sheet? Could you, could you fill it out? One or two personas? Perfect. Um, so now it would, could, could somebody of you present yeah. this a persona? Mm -hmm. Irina? Yeah. One of the teachers, maybe, uh, um, yes, yeah, uh, uh, because they are more in, in touch with the uh, post mentor, you mean post mentor Irene and from my so you have to go on the sugiro and understand the young as you shall. Let's say, Donnie, 
Okay, okay. Irena, they are, they are asking Irena to do it, but she would propose the teachers to be one of them since they are more in touch with the students. Yes. Okay, so I am going to share my screen and I'm going to present uh, how did it work together. So what we did uh, was we organized the meeting and we decided to divide our students, the profiles of our students based on their motivation rather than their uh, performance. Okay. So um, what we did is uh, that we, um, we have three personas. We decided to choose three personas. The first one uh, has a low uh, level of motivation. Uh, the second one uh, has an average level of motivation and the third one um, a great level of motivation. Uh, then we uh, try to answer the questions, uh, keeping in mind one, uh, the profile of the, the, um, a student. Um, so uh, basically we, we, we started to, to add elements. This person, uh, where this person was coming from? What was his age? Uh, what did he think about um, about uh, uh, media? Um, uh, then we uh, we went on on the next questions, and we explored uh, how the person, what the person felt about the the, the platforms that he was using. Um, so, yeah, I don't know if Edlira wants to add something uh, to this point, but everything, I think, what we did with the teachers, uh, the teachers were more involved to the process since they, uh, they know, they are working with the, student, with the students, so they know um, better, they know mm -hmm. them better. Yeah. Uh, no, Edlira, no, 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 uh, ajo që doja të shtoja unë, uh, duke i kuar një besoj si grup uh, në djetës për një lapsus në të shkruajtur pasin... What I would like to add is that we had some session, a brainstorming session on Zoom to anticipate, let's say, the work and through Google Drive then later on we organized, which was organized by Irena, I'd like to thank her very much for her assistance we managed each of us giving our inputs and we completed these rubrics these tables so here and there there might be some kind of repetition or maybe it's not expressed in the best way possible but each and everybody contributed greatly in the development of such materials such documents okay thank you, uh, thank you very much so uh, if I understood correctly, everybody agrees. Like those are the main, the main personas that you that, that you encounter within your classroom, probably. So that's that's perfect. Uh, just a quick question, uh, Irina. You mentioned uh, you wrote also which um, how they get along with 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 any platform they're using. Um, did you specify somewhere in this uh, persona sheet what what kind of platforms they are using? This is just for us uh, important information. Uh, we didn't specify. We mentioned, for example, WhatsApp. Uh, okay. uh, we mentioned other platforms, but we we really didn't go uh, much into it. Sorry. Okay, into technical stuff. Okay, that's good. Yeah. yeah. Um. Um. Maybe one more question. Uh, is there some somewhere that you write where they have access to 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 laptops or or smartphones or so we understand a bit better? I... Yes. Uh, 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 yes, they are saying yes. Uh, yeah, we we know about okay, it. We know if okay. they do, we we try to answer every question. Okay, uh, and perfect. one of the question was which are some of the tools that they are using if they have access to these tools or no. So yeah, we okay. we try to find an answer for that. 
Okay, perfect. Um, yes, great. So uh, now the why the question why you actually did this. Um, so we're gonna the next couple of, of sessions. Uh, you as a group, you're gonna be working on a on an e-learning module um, on a on a certain topic, and this is also gonna be one of your homework for for the next for the next workshop. You should pick a topic that you want to create an e-module, like an e-learning module for. And why an e-learning module? An e-learning module combines uh, a lot of things together. So there's text, video, images, maybe interactive exercises, questions. So it, it's, a, it's a format that combines different mediums. So I think it's, it's, uh, it's, good, it's, it's a good medium or format to show you the process on, on how we develop uh, digital content. Um, so, and in the, in the process of, of developing uh, this e-learning module, what, what you're gonna need to do when you work with your content, um, always keep this, keep this persona sheet with you and always make sure that the people that you have described on this sheet, that they, they fit with the content so that they understand. It's, it's most of the time it's the ones that are, you know, a little, little less motivated. Uh, the ones that are always motivated, it's easy. They, they learn anything you give them. But, but try, try to, to create a module that is, you know, engaging, interactive, especially for those who, whose level of motivation is not as elevated as, as, as the other ones. So this is this is why we are gonna need this this persona sheets and it's also something you're gonna you're gonna be using you you can use those for any content you create it's just a good reminder to have to have a mental image of of the persons of the people the students you you create content for maybe just just a quick question uh, did, did you somewhere state a little bit more about their personalities and maybe even a name or something that you can kind of relate to someone when you talk about your your module afterwards like did you choose a name for them for the personas uh, yeah we chose the name for the personas uh, actually we um, did it for um, um, Oh, but yes. You were hard to understand, Irina. Sorry, could you please could you please repeat? Someone wanted to add something, that's why I stopped. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> I don't know who oh, Dorina, Dorina, don't touch on the uh Lydia Mekta personalism in the names that you are mentioning. I totally agree that we need to keep in mind when we develop content who the target, let's say, are, but we cannot come up with specific names because we do not create content just for 30 or 40 students of ours, but they can be, that can be content for all Albanian students. So we cannot come up with specific names, but divided into categories, yes, this for sure. It's, 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 uh, it's it's just it's i mean it's all fictional the names and everything you don't you don't need to choose uh, actual students uh, you have like with their name but it's just a way of like when you develop then uh, the content that you always have in mind is that kind of this content right for let's say uh max is that it would that work for max now so you you've got like a, a, a a, a common understanding if that's still right for this person. So you, you kind of make make this person a little bit more alive, even if it's just fiction at the end. But the name itself is not important. It's more about creating a, a, a someone that you 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 develop for him. Okay. Yeah, actually, I was I was saying that we did it in the first format uh so it was the first um the first part of questions like uh where is he from and what is his age so we did it but then we adapted uh, the format and uh, we didn't go on with that but the first persona uh was let's say a real person so <laughs> we, we worked on all the questions with that 
No, it's it's fine to do it like this. No no worries at all. It's just uh, what what I I suggest you do that you create one sheet uh, for each of the personas. Mm -hmm. it's, maybe it's just, I can, Philippe, if I can explain it, maybe in Albanian the concept. Uh, uh, do you mind? Yes, please go ahead. Uh, the idea is that this is a didactic exercise so as we can keep in mind not our own students by name let's say and surname but the student as a concept for the future process so as when we create content not to be general but keep in mind this individual who can be somebody specific who we are clear about or somebody who we have imagined but it helps us for the future activities to keep him or her in mind it's a didactic exercise for the training it's not necessarily that when we create content we are going to work with a persona concept it's just to help us to exercise and practice and work in an individualized way and create uh, better content okay let's say for the future Thanks, Gerda. Yes, exactly. So it's why we do this. It's actually to, to create empathy for the target target audience. And that's that's why we um, we usually also add demographic information. You know, their age, their name, even though it's it's purely fictional. But I think it's it's uh, what you did. Uh, I mean, we, we we can't understand it right now. But <laughs> we, uh, it, what you explained us, it, it it looks it looks very good. So. Uh, you're going to be working because you can you can be continue to work with with those those personas the only thing i would change is make three different sheets and just give each persona a fictional a fictional name okay um so for uh for the next workshop that is tuesday um please pick uh, a subject that you would like to develop an e-learning module, let's say, for your, for your class, uh, your entrepreneurship, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, yeah, for your entrepreneurship course. Uh, keep in mind that the, the length of, a, yeah. of an e-learning module should be between 20 and 30 minutes max, maximum. That's a... Uh, 30 minutes uh, i think it, it's already really long if, if a student has to be in front of a screen without having any other activities uh, to do so keep that in mind when you pick a when you pick a topic so if, if there are no more questions uh from your side uh this is already this is already it thanks so much for your work uh, we will translate uh, the personas for also for us, and if we have questions, we will reach out to you directly. Okay. Thank you. Perfect. Thanks very much, and see you next Tuesday. Thanks. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye. 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 Thank you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> You're going to stay on, uh, Mira? Oh, can't hear you. I'm sorry. They said it's only five minutes from one session to the other. So, yes, if uh, I, we started if I understand, 40, if I, 45. If I understand well. So. Okay. Okay. I'll be here on. Okay. It's a little break, uh, and it goes on at 45. Okay. I will, right, I will just pause the recording and kind of mute. Okay, yeah. And, okay, and then uh, I'll come back at, uh, or stay in this okay. channel and, and uh, start again okay. at 45. Okay, thank you. Perfect. Thanks, you. Zoom to the roof.
Ready, Mira? I, I'll, uh, I'll let them in. Is that is good? Oh, we can't hear you. Sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I forgot. No problem. <laughs> Too many commands. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hello, everybody. Hello, everyone. Hello. So uh, Mira is going to, hello everybody, uh, Mira is going to translate again, if you want to listen to the Albanian translation, uh, please switch to the Spanish, Spanish channel. <laughs> so uh, first of all, welcome to this coaching session. Uh, in those sessions, um, uh, we'd like to, to, to help you if, you if you have questions with the home, homework. Uh, or if you had questions uh, from from the last uh, workshop we, we did with you, um, it's going to be pretty short, 15 to maximum 20, 20 minutes. Uh, so let's dive into it. Uh, first of all, did you have any more questions regarding the last workshop, like what, what we presented to you? No questions they are saying, so nobody seems to have any questions. Perfect. Every, everything was clear. Okay, good. Uh, so regarding that the homework, mm -hmm. uh, your homework was to create a persona, two or three personas. Uh, like, do you have any questions regarding that, that assignment? No, no. No questions? Perfect. So they have Perfect. developed, yes, the three personas. Perfect. We don't know where you can see them, if we are going to send them out to you or how is it going to be? Uh, so if they, could, if they could send it to you after the coaching session, that would be great. Um, okay, to, to, you mean to me for translation, okay. Uh, that would be even better. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah okay. Um, um, but and what now if somebody could present us uh, one of their personas just that we can see you know where you had problems if everything was clear Okay. okay, I'm going to make a presentation of the group work. We developed three personas, three like profiles of students. The first one is 18 years old and lives in the dorm because he comes from the rural areas. He or she. This persona has positive approach, attitude towards uh, learning media and is really preoccupied beyond their own opportunities, but it's really hard for them since they live in the dorm to have a positive, let's say, or to have access to this media. Uh, due to the, the age of this student, if we speak about digital learning and content, she is in her own habitat, let's say, but again, she has limited resources and opportunities in the dorm since she has no access to internet. But anyhow, this student, so she tried hard, she used the internet centers, uh, in the vicinity, let's say, where she is living, or she has asked for help from her students, from her friends who live 
somewhere near the dorm. And I think this is the difference. Concerning communication, the most favorable communication channels for her are telephone, messenger and WhatsApp. This student, since she is really willing to learn, in most cases, she is not reluctant to ask questions, to learn more. She would like to have more concise learning content, focused more on illustrations with examples and from real life. She is really happy with if the teacher would provide her with concise information about some lesson and this information and if this information would be illustrated through example some kind of exercise some case or situation etc also she would be really happy if the goal of some lesson is delivered by creating different variations and be involved in all these things and not just a listener in the class this was one type of persona let's say that we have developed okay great thank you very much for your work uh, just one question for us to, to understand better uh, when you say uh, this this persona s sleeps at a dorm is that um, is that a dorm that's available for 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 students close to school, or how how, how does this work? Does this work? Oh. Uh, the dorm is only f it's it's not only for the uh, school students, but these are dorms where other students from other schools can go and reside from another vocational school as well from an art school so it's a dorm which hosts uh, different students who really needs to stay in a dorm goes there but it is not managed by the school as a dorm it's under the municipality management okay 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 great uh, and they stay the whole week at the dorm i imagine they come mondays and leave fridays in Usually they stay during the week in the dorm because they live far from the school, let's say. They live in rural areas and Saturday, Sunday they go back home and come back on Monday. Or maybe once in two weeks. So it's up to them how often they visit home. Okay. Okay. Uh, thanks a lot. Maybe just one, one feedback. So it's really really good work it helps us also to understand your your students um, it would be good if you could assign a fictional name to those personas just it is just conceptual work but it, it, it helps okay it helps to assign some random name to it um, so in fact, there was some name, but I forgot to mention. That's Jensida. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay, so perfect. Okay. <laughs> so if you could, if you could send. Uh, and there is also a quote for this persona. We also have a quote for this persona. Oh, what is it? Who wants to learn? find something finds a way if you don't you are not willing to learn you find a reason behind that like an excuse you find an excuse okay, <laughs> <laughs> okay. great thanks a lot so if you could if you could send those persona sheets to um to mira for translation that would be great so we can you know use okay. them use them too um now for uh the the next steps so we create these personas uh, for any kind of, of, of content that, that we develop. So as soon as we develop content, we first create those personas. And then in the process of creating content, we always check with, with those faces, those personas, to make sure that what we do you know, fits, fits, those, fits those personas. Otherwise, oftentimes, you get lost in you know the, all the knowledge that you have and you feel you have to transmit but oftentimes it's you know too much so and, and you overwhelm 
overwhelm those people. So those those personas can can help you reduce and simplify content also. Um, obviously, you don't have to redo those personas every time you you, you create you create a project. You, your students they they won't change a lot, I, I imagine. Uh, so you can you just did it once, and now you can keep using them when you create when you create content. So what we're gonna do next, and this is also a homework for next Tuesday for the next workshop. Uh, over the next couple of, of weeks, uh, we're gonna create, or you're gonna create as a group, you're gonna create an e-learning module. And why did we pick an e-learning module? Because an e-learning module uh, combines uh, several uh, several media forms, uh, content forms within one. So you're gonna have text, you're gonna have maybe video, you're gonna have images, illustrations, uh, questions, uh, anything imaginable. And you can all do this within an e-learning module. So your homework for next Tuesday will be to, to pick, pick a topic uh, within your your topic, like your, your area of, of, of teaching. Uh, keep in mind that the final product or the final script that we're gonna create at the end of, of, of these workshops, it shouldn't extend uh, a learning duration of 20 to 30 minutes. We say 30 minutes max because a student stuck behind the screen for more than 30 minutes, it's, it's a long time and they're probably gonna get distracted by other things. So we wanna keep it as, as, as short as, as possible. So again, to repeat for next Tuesday, please uh, come with a topic uh, that you, you, know, you, you, can, you can sort of create a lesson for 20 to 30, to 30 minutes. And then you're gonna be working on this, on this topic over the next couple of workshops. Is, is the assignment clear or do you have you have questions? Do you ask, my chart. Do you ask clear? I wanted to ask for any kind of media, PowerPoint, whatever, Word, what kind of media can we use for the layout? What kind of uh, form? Uh, so I, the idea is to have a, uh, like a script at the end um, and then this is something you could you could create an e-module in in Moodle for and an e-learning module you can add uh, text images videos uh, questions like multiple choice single choice questions all sort of all sort of questions um, we wouldn't if possible if possible you should you shouldn't use whole powerpoints in it you can give powerpoints as you know if they want to dive deeper into into the topic you can it's something that you can you can add to it but you should be able to 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 develop the topic within within those 20 to 30 minutes without using a powerpoint But for creating the script and for you to develop the content, you can you can use whatever whatever you need. Like uh, we're gonna give you a template also. I think next next Tuesday when you come to writing writing a script for an e-learning module, and that's a PowerPoint or it can also be a Word document. It doesn't it doesn't really matter. But we're gonna provide you with a template, a template that we use when we create such such content. Did I answer the question? More or less, she's not so clear. It's not so clear because we need to take a topic that we are going yes. to, uh, it's going to be some learning. So is it going to be like just one topic, like one learning item, let's say, or it's going to be more than one learning item? No, no, just one the topic. The second. Just, just one item. Mm. 
Okay, no, no, you're and, and, and mm -hmm. not, Sorry, not, not yet. Uh, you don't have to do lots of content right now. Just only to pick the the topic that you can make uh, like a e-learning module out of it afterwards. But for next Tuesday, only only this fragment of it of the topic. So they're not going to develop it right now. It's like more scripts. So this is the topic and these are the elements that we are going to include. Am I clear myself? Because it's exactly. Not, uh, okay. Just, just, just the topic. They don't even have to think about what they're going to include. No, just, just the topic. And then we want to show you how we develop this topic. Okay, all good. Not okay. Yes, Perfect. they think it, it's okay, it's fine now. Okay. If you so have a question, you can always use the Padlet with question and answers. Just just uh, if you s things are not clear yet, you can always use them. Okay, so that was it for the first coaching session. Thanks a lot for your homework, if you could send the personas uh, to Mira, that would be great. So we have them too. Uh, and we'll see you next Tuesday. Bye-bye. 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 When is the next one? Uh, um, 10 past. Okay, in 10 minutes. Okay. 10 minutes, exactly. 10 minutes. Okay. okay. <laughs> See you later. See you later. Bye bye. See you. Hi there. Hello, Mira. <laughs> you don't need us anymore. You can actually do it yourself, no? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> but these are interesting. <laughs> mm. This kind of coaching. Short sessions, but they usually have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just wait a little bit more, see if I think there's Professor Salman and Miguel, but maybe then they're, they're not coming. Uh, yeah, I'll admit uh, Fiorella and Rudina so far. Hello. 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 Oh. All right, perfect. Let's start. Thanks for coming to the to the coaching session. Um, as in the webinars as well, you can you can change the channel to, to Spanish. So you hear Mira translate everything we say. Um, and this, this coaching session will take around um, 15 to, to 20 minutes. And um, um, let's start. So we we start from from like, do you have any any questions? about the webinar we did last time. Is there anything that came up or things that were unclear to you? I, I, I couldn't, 
I couldn't follow the webinar last time. Yeah. Uh, but I went through the materials. Okay. And I tried to prepare the um, the profile for a student very shortly. Perfect. <laughs> so maybe we we will see in the future uh, and discuss. Yeah, exactly. We we will have a look at the profiles. Uh, I'm sorry, my son is around here and uh, he might have some yeah, question no for me. So don't no don't don't. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <laughs> so if if there are I've no been questions. negotiated, so it's, it's it was not possible to to leave him somewhere else. So I'm sorry for that. It's no problem. I, I I'll, I'll I'll deal with the same things here. No okay. problem at all. Everyone has that. No problem. Um, are there any questions uh, concerning the the your task that you had to do, like um, uh, creating uh, two, three, four personas? for your students. Any challenges, any questions? Otherwise, it would be great if you can present, let's say uh, one of those personas to us, to, to, to fill out me, just, just shortly, maybe share the screen if you have it written down somewhere and quickly go through that we get a better feeling of, of who, who this uh, student is. Okay. Who, who wants to do it? Who wants to, to start? On. Okay, she's trying to share it, yeah. Um, sorry. Okay, how proposed the uh, okay. Waiting for her to share and to what I mean? Oh. Can we discuss with a group? We discussed as a group, so it's a general education group. We created a WhatsApp group to, to work together. I have taken here, like, describe the persona of some motivated student. But we can speak about other persona as well, because even from the presentation that we received uh, on, during the webinar, there were three different prof profiles. Motivated one, less motivated, or somebody who doesn't care much or maybe the others who are motivated, but they do not have any access to digital tools and internet. Here we have a real person, so not a fictional one, but she's a student I teach and I know her. Maybe due to this online uh, teaching now, we have started to get to know our students better in terms of learning content, especially for us as general education teachers, we have the textbooks, although they are not maybe uh, so relevant, let's say, to the vocational education, they are gymnasium, let's say, textbooks, but we adapt them to the curriculum of the vocational school. 
concerning behavior motivation, do you want me to read everything in detail or maybe in general? Just just a, a general overview. You, you can afterwards send 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 it to Mira and and we get it translated so we get a little bit more into detail. But for right now, uh, only only a quick overview, just that we get a little bit of an understanding. So here we have the profile of some student who is motivated, is willing to learn through various ways methods. Uh, she adapts very easily to these new ways of learning. Uh, she is really linked uh, to technology because she studies ICT as well, so it's much easier for her to use platforms, various platforms, so um, teaching platforms or any other type of platforms for the so, uh, for synchron and asynchronic classes. She has access to digital tools, both in school and at home as well, because she has her personal laptop, smartphone and everything at home, wireless as well. She likes communication channels such as uh, Mosovet platform, Zoom, etc., etc. Uh, she is really happy with the offer if the learning content is really updated and adapted to her age and she has access to such learning content at any time. So this is a motivated student, the, the persona we just described. Yes. Very motivated. Yeah, perfect. Thanks very much. Uh, that looks, that looks uh, very good. Uh, so, so you mentioned that you, you have other ones as well that are less motivated uh, personas. Did I get that right or? Yes. Okay. Good. Okay, it's not it's not clear the question. No. Okay, there are people who might have access to digital devices at school or at home. They are not motivated at all. Okay. So maybe. they do not show any any interest. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, maybe your question was if they have prepared any other persona or not? Yes. Okay, so I'll have to repeat the question. Sorry, thanks. Okay, because she's speaking about less motivated people who are not so interested in All whatever right. you offer and provide them. I can ask the question now. Okay. Like, we also have other students who really are willing and they want to learn, they are motivated and they want to use technology, have access to, these devices, but they they cannot afford them. They have no access, let's say, especially. Okay. There have been cases when during this online learning at home, part of the students, because they didn't have any internet access or laptop, let's say the device, it was impossible for us to, to keep the communication and we have communicated only through WhatsApp. Okay. By sending, sharing videos, voice messages, etc., because they couldn't access the platforms and the learning content that we have developed and updated. Right. updated. Okay, just, just uh, um, you can. It, it would be great if you if you do for those groups, uh, like uh, exactly sheet like you did with with, with this one for, for, for those kind of groups as well. And, and one suggestion, um, um, use fictional names uh, because you don't want to have a student exposed. Oh, Patieter, Mendova Sendosta, Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Make, make like for all those groups that you oh. explained now, some with... I was thinking that about the other personas, maybe the other colleagues had prepared something, that's why we went for the most yeah. one, let's say. No, it's, it's, it's great. It's, it's great work, uh, what you did. It's, it's very, you get a feeling for this person. Um, I would say those two things that, that make it fictional, uh, that this fictional character represents kind of uh, this group as, a, as like an archetype thing. 
and, and then do the yeah. same thing for the two yeah. other groups, some with low, less motivated, and, and one with, with uh, technical issues, like uh, can't get on platforms. Because why we do this is, is to, to have those, let's say, three characters always present with us when you develop any media you do, any content you do, that you, you get them kind of with you and you, you always check if, if the thing you're doing now works for those personas. So you know a little bit, you, because usually there's a little bit this curse of knowledge. You try to, 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 to give all the knowledge you have um, to everyone, but then you kind of, you, you're too much in, in compromises. So if you have those three personas in front of you, you try to develop for them. And usually then uh, it, it's, a, it's a way to reduce as well. Uh, so you can't do it for everyone in, in the digital media. You have to, you have to kind of focus on, on some archetypes that it kind of work out. So um, are there any, any questions for, for this concerning the, the personas? Yo, the profile I cannot. These personas, at least I can speak about myself, so I really understand. And it's true that we have such kind of personas, the three of them among our students. Mm -hmm. And it's so clear that when we develop learning content, we need to keep in mind these personas. Mm -hmm. Maybe on the way, like while working during this journey we're going to learn more how to develop learning content finding like a medium way so as we can include or have this learning content adaptable to the three exactly. profiles it's a little bit challenging but i hope yeah. i believe that we'll be able to do that that's why we are being trained let's exactly. say <laughs> perfect <laughs> exactly right Exactly right. So, so this is like the, um, the, the basics we start, we always, when you create a content, we start with those personas. So we, we get like, we create empathy and we know who we're de developing for. So for, for you as a task for the next, for next Tuesday, for the next webinar, would be as a, because you're like a general knowledge group that you kind of find uh, a topic as a group that you're going to create that a topic that you want to create like an e-learning module for them, for this topic, for your students. And keep in mind that, that, that the e-learning module itself should, should only take maximum to 30 minutes. So let's say we go somewhere between 20 and 30 minutes. So, so it has to be like a, a topic or a fragment of a topic that could be put into an e-learning module that takes around 20 to 30 minutes. We, we chose now as a, as a, as a form uh, an e-learning module because it contains all kind, of, all kind of media. So sometimes it has text, sometimes it has illustration, it has movies, uh, whatever. But, but as, a, as a, a task, it's only to choose a topic now for, the ne for next Tuesday that you have like a, a common topic that you're going to work on uh, uh, for the next weeks. Is that clear as a task or, or do you need some? At here, um, Falmira does really need team. Okay, so she is reinforcing again. So we are yeah. going to find a topic. Yeah. They are not going to develop anything, just the topic. Yeah. yeah? Exactly. Uh, because that's our, that will be our start, to have a topic and a persona. And from there on, we will create an uh, e-learning module. You as a group, and we always give inputs and, and templates and everything that you need that you can create an e-learning e module. Oh, a chart. So, a lone professional is on change the teams, they can attend. Accord, a chart. Oh. 
Is that, are there any, any other questions or, or otherwise you can always uh, write questions on this Padlet question yeah. and answer Padlet if, if something comes up afterwards. All right, perfect. So great work. Thanks very much. And uh, we'll see you next Tuesday. I'm there with you. <laughs> please, you. please, please send the personas to, to Mira. That would be great. Oh, yeah. Uh, they're going, they're going, okay, okay. Thank you very much. All right. Okay, just to email that profile in chat. Okay, we had another professor who had to okay. ask, yeah. but apparently... Van Thank you. Ciao. Yeah. Professor Salmani. Yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah, he, uh, he... But we will let him know, so he makes the, the three personas and he can send it to... Perfect, you. yeah. Okay. Great. Okay. Uh, he can also... He can... You can also check your, he can also check your personas, and if if, if you know, probably is gonna identify his personas with the ones you've already created, because they're not gonna be differ too much, I imagine. So, yeah, yeah, we can, we can. However, you want. All the teachers shared the, the the personas in the group in the, the WhatsApp group chat, and then they can see. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. perfect. Bye. Well done. Thank bye. you. Thank bye you. bye. Um, all right. 30, 35. Uh, 35? Okay, see you. <laughs> I think. Uh, I think. 35. Yes. Yeah, 35. Exactly. 35. 35. See you. See you later. Okay. <laughs> bye bye. bye. Du bist noch auf Netz, Tina. Hi, Mira. Hi. Okay, I think they already voice out. Yes. They're waiting. Okay, I'll, I'll let them in. Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. Perfect. Let's start. Hello, everyone. Hope you're doing well. Uh, as in the webinar sessions, uh, you can choose this, the Spanish uh, channel, translation channel. Samira will translate to you. This coaching session will take uh, around 15 to 20 minutes max. And uh, let's just dive into it. Um, do you have any, any questions on the last webinar uh, we did? Is, did anything come up uh, that you'd like to ask here in this coaching session? Yeah, I'm okay. Mm. He's okay. Yuli is okay. Okay. He's okay. Perfect. Good. Did any any challenge or question uh, arose out of the the task uh, we gave you to create the personas? Did any challenges uh, come up? No challenges. The communication was great among the group and do we have developed something so we can share the screen if perfect yes, and if there are no question challenges and uh, we can discuss great if you can present present the persona yes. Okay, so Yuli is speaking, so he's asking the colleagues from the group if there is anybody else who'd like to present or something. <laughs> you took the lead. Vajda, Vajda Yuli. Okay, he can continue. Okay, 
this is our homework. Uh, we had to develop some persona in words. We came up with some introduction of the state of play where we explain what happened after we received the email. So the group was established. We created some communication channel on WhatsApp. We divided the tasks and uh, Vaisava worked on the analytical work together with Ines and uh, Yuli and Landi, they worked a little bit more on the practical sides, let's say, of the homework. And then they discussed the thing together. We came up with analysis of the persona that we had to take into consideration and we came up with this number of personas. You can see highlighted. There are eight persona students who use, who ask questions after the explanations, students who bring for the audience some kind of concrete examples about the case study. Third is indifferent students, not active. The fourth is students replicate by provoking a debate. Five is students who integrate theory and practical. Six is students uh, interested only in the practical part. The seven students that investigate into the digital content, social networks, internet, and the last one, students who develop themselves, the digital content. And here we selected only three of these personas. It's the second, the third, and the seventh from the long list. Student number one, we completed the data with the name Cleo, 18, from Elvasan and some quotes, so much things to do, and some picture there. Um, do you want me to read everything he's saying, so? Uh, no, no, it's, it, it's okay. Just, just uh, maybe a, a, a brief overview, just a little bit, because after it's you, you will send uh, the personas to, to Mira, and we'll, we'll get the translated version of it. So for now, only maybe just some some sentences out, out of it. Okay. So we studied in a way, so it's like three students out of eight that we made a long list after the analysis. Student number one, who is... So the three cases are different from one another. And these are the typical, let's say, uh, cases of students that we are teaching. Each of them has different attitudes towards the digital content in general. Concerning technology, each and everybody has more or less same approach. They have access to social networks, infrastructure, computer infrastructure, but each of them uses it in their own way. Communication channels, they, of course, the three of them use them, the three personas. Then in terms of goals, wishes, and expectations, the three of them have different ones based on their willingness, let's say, to be part of the lesson or it depends on their interest, let's say more, and it's much easier to understand the goals of each and everybody. And the last question, if they are happy with the offer. For the three cases, of course, we have three different answers and you'll see them carefully. And even from the quotes, <laughs> you can find out. So this is Lazar, like lazy. <laughs> A lazy student <laughs> and the student number three who, who has no talent but uh, he's hard worker and he does everything to reach the goals and he's an ICT student. Uh, that's thank you very much you and that's that's perfect it looks really like uh, great work you how you approached it by like analyzing it uh, the, the students and then picking like three three out of those um well done uh really really good um uh voice did you do you have a question uh i think your your hand uh 
You're raising your hands. Uh, un do të doja, uh, të cilja dhe një profil tjetër, like për më të avancuar, të nëzënë si të sotë, për si një profesional. Un do të cilja lider në grupit. Një nëzënës lider. Me ndoj kjo kjo është profili, Personaggi i moderuar i nëzënsit të sotë për i shmëritit cilit janë plarë. Jo vetëm në nivel personal, por dhe në nivel grupit. Unë punoj shpesh me nëzënsit me metodat e punës në grup. Shumë shpesh. Një metod të fundit që e kam bërë time është World Cafe. Nuk e di e keni të gjuar mua ka përëndimim ka ardhën si metod. Dhe në këto metod, primi grupe dhe me lidet të nëzënsve, më ka dhe rezultat shumë të lajnë. Në punën me grupe, me përcaktimet e liderve, pra të këti personajit moderuar, mua më ka lindur personajit të tjerë të nëzënsve, këto të cilët më punuan bashkë me grupi në këtë dhe tjurë të parë. Around and that's where we concentrated and focused our work during our very first homework. The other characters are basically leaders. 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 Kërkon atë kjo një praktikë është shumë mirë, nëzënsin kjo bëmë bashkëpunimin me disë praktikës e teorisë, nëzënsin replikus, kjo duke bërë replik në klasë, provokon debati, diskutimin. Nëzënsin kjo ka të dhëna prajtin, më shumë që të tjere, pra të gjithë këto të përmërërur në një grupë, japë një punë me rezultat shumë të lakë. Të kërish duke të Këtë urë këta, unë e aplikoj shpesh në orët e linja të mësë ndërës. Dhe ndjem shumë të modë. Prandaj, prandaj do të thoja këta fusim si një personash të katër, por më të mjërë, personashin e lideri të grupë. Me ndoj unë, është me ndim personaj. Nga përvoja ime. Falem dhe feedback, let's say, from my own experience. Thank you. Perfect. Thanks very much. Thanks very much. You can add that uh, as well, definitely. I think it's great to hear that that how much you you kind of uh, get into the the shoes of the students and how much you think about uh, their view, and 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 this is this is uh, absolutely the goal of of, uh, of creating persona. Uh, we 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 do cre always always as a start of the process before we, we even start developing any any content or educational media is uh, we we always use persona as a as a as a starting point uh, that we, we understand who are we developing something for so this empathy uh, is 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 really important to create engaging engaging material uh, so i think that's great uh, it, so it would be great that you always keep those those personas you've created like kind of in front of you uh, when we kind of develop um, educational media and and this is this is uh, already I'll come to the to the task uh, would be great if you could do for next Tuesday is as a as a uh, you as an engineering group that you you pick a topic um, that that you that you think you can do a e-learning module out of it um, and this e-learning module should take uh, 20 to 30 minutes maximum. So that, that you kind of uh, find a topic uh, that is, is kind of in this range that you can kind of create an online uh, e-learning module with it. You don't have to do anything yet. Uh, Content-wise, you only have to choose a, a topic uh, that you're ready to go for next Tuesday. Uh, why why we chose e-learning uh, it's it's um it's something that comes contains a lot of different kind of media so it's it's a good it's a good uh 
playroom to create something, either text or video or, or uh, illustrations or, or, or so. So what we're gonna do in the next weeks is, is create um, uh, uh, scripts and and um, and, um, and needed. Uh, we we're gonna um, uh, list needed media that we're gonna need to 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 really finalize um, an e-learning module. But for next Tuesday, it's only to start to have a topic ready. Do, do you have any question on, 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 on this task? Yeah. Uh, I understand you. I couldn't hear very well. Oh, okay. Everything, but maybe the others can explain a little bit. Um, about the task, Nieder, is the task clear or? or? Ah, okay. Hmm? Nobody's speaking now, so it's very clear. Ah, I okay. Assume, but... <laughs> <laughs> I, thought, I thought it was freeze. The, the freeze. <laughs> nobody, <laughs> no, nobody was speaking. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, so is every everything clear for 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 the task for next? Uh, the goal, maybe I just add something. The goal for uh, for the whole project would obviously be that that you have something in hand that you can use. Uh, in your classrooms in the future. Okay, Yuli would like to say something. Yeah. Uh, he teaches like these uh, practical training classes and in the vocational education during the practical training classes, we do not have any support, let's say, textbooks, let's say, or learning content. Maybe it's clear for you. I don't know if you have heard about that. But uh, myself, I have some kind of experience in developing learning content. And even in the first Padlet, uh, in the expectations, the question was, what are your expectations from this training? I have written down that I would like to improve like my skills in terms of the learning content. So. The people who are members of this group, Boisava, Ines, and Yuli, we have some experience in mm -hmm. developing learning content. And I also developed some content for the Soviet platform. Okay. So maybe for us it's much easier. And yeah. even in technology wise, he says, I can use this, okay, because it's not, I can use resources to help me create better learning content, visual ones, videos. Right. with descriptions or, or whatever. So that's why I believe that even in the homework and with the module, we'll come up with something very beautiful as a group. Yeah, nice. That's <laughs> perfect. Good to hear. We're looking forward to that. So uh, we'll show you also some different tools that, that we use um, to create, you know, in a very easy way to create e-learning modules. Um, so maybe just going to give you more inspiration also. But if you if you know how to produce videos, all of that, that's perfect. Yeah. My challenge in this online or remote learning, teaching, so I started to develop videos by myself at home. I just improvised some kind of corner, which is like a classroom, let's say, mm -hmm. corner, so as I could feel myself as close to my students and to, to look real. And it, it worked really, really well. At the beginning, I was a little bit skeptical, shy, let's say, nervous, let's say, but then it worked very well. Now I have numerous uh, learning videos, especially for the state Matura, which help students of all the levels of the profile I teach. But anyhow, it's never sufficient, let's say. The challenge nowadays is to be to have quality teaching. Yeah. And quality teaching, of course, 
pushes us forward like to, to re do research, to investigate, to find content on the internet or YouTube and everything else. But not only that, we should develop simple, concentrated, concise things and understandable for students, not boring ones. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Short videos. Mm -hmm. But my challenge for the future is like this one, the development of digital learning content. I am an author of um, various uh, textbooks of mechanical engineer technology, uh, car spare parts, and I also provided them to the Skills for Jobs project through the platform. And I introduced a course for the diagnosis of transport vehicle servicing profile. But I see that in this course, there should be some very professional pre presence, let's say. So as it can be complete in terms of cooperation, not only with the students, but also with the colleagues in every possible item. Videos, learning content, tests, quizzes, which would make the whole teaching process more complete. And above all, quality teaching, so, yeah. and quality assessment of the students. Yeah, yeah, nice. Yes, but uh, That's sorry what I to think. interrupt. Uh, Philip, if you, you said you had some uh, tools that you use uh, regarding creating videos, uh, please do not, share. Not, not, uh, not, 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 not videos. What was it? Uh, I didn't uh, e-learning, e-learning, e-learning modules. Ah, okay. But we, we will, we will show it. Um, okay, but. Yeah. Okay. I, I can't Sorry, share I it yet because we have to, we have to show it. So that's uh, why I had to ask. No worries. Okay. All right. Thanks a lot, everyone. Thanks very much for your contributions. Um, well done. We'll see you next yeah, yeah. Tuesday. Great work. Oh, please. Uh, could yeah. you please send? Could you please send the personas nah, to uh, nah, Mira? I will uh, send the exercise to Mira. The, the okay. Perfect. All right. Thanks a lot. Yeah, Thank you very much. Mira. Bye, guys. Thanks. Bye, bye. Bye, 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 bye. This is like a tick done checklist. We have one more, I think. <laughs> yes, uh, but now but we have a is... longer break, I think. So we have. That's... Uh, <laughs> last time yeah last one then. for today <laughs> for today exactly <laughs> okay. are you working from home as well or yeah. yeah yes you have an idea how long is it going to be or for you in switzerland then? uh we could already go back to the office mm -hmm. but nobody most of the people stay stay home so yeah, it's much safer, of course. Yeah, so you don't you don't have to go use the public transport. And so yeah, yeah, better to avoid. <laughs> so so I'll uh, before we're three now two waiting Lorella and Beza. I I let them in now. Huh? Hello, everybody. Hello. Hello. Uh, <laughs> hi.
Hello, Anissa. Okay, so I think we we start and uh, more people are coming. We just we just going to let them in. Uh, for uh, translations, please choose the Spanish channel, and Mira is going to translate for you uh, in Albanian. Uh, what are you going to do today? Is mostly uh, have a look at your at your assignments, uh, your persona persona sheets. But before we start with that, uh, are there any more questions regarding the last uh, the last workshop on on Tuesday? Do you have any questions? It doesn't look like it. Okay, perfect. Okay, so let's uh, let's start with the personas. Um, did you have any troubles filling out filling out those persona persona sheets? No problems. Hello, Hadia. Um, so. They're saying no. Okay, definitely no. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Hello. <laughs> so if if somebody of you could present one of those personas to us, that would be that would be great. You can share the screen. Uh, yes, I would like to, but um, it is written in Albania. Okay, uh, Mira is going to translate. Okay, just a second so I can share screen first. Sure. Um, this is my persona. I can see the name in Alban. The name is Alban, which is like a typical name in Albania. The age is 17 years old, which is the third or the fourth, second or the third year of the gymnasium. The quote for this person is evolution has taught us that the education is the key to survival, which means like to adapt teaching to digital. She's asking again if she's going to read everything or I'm going to translate directly or she'll make an overview. So you uh, just an overview is fine. Okay. I'm sorry. Did you have this? Po të gjonë këtu të angishtja, do për gjithë të mje përmbledhje të shkurëtër edhe pasaj materiali do përthejnës. Should I read it? I'm sorry? Uh, uh, just, not, just an overview. Cannot hear me in any just of the channels. Overview. Okay. okay. Uh, yes. uh, I think you should uh, switch maybe to, to the Spanish channel. So you can speak in Albanian and Mira can translate to us. Okay, yes, just a second. Thank you. Okay, Albani, and then say to the media the digital. Alban thinks that the use of uh, digital learning content is much more fun, which means that it provides him with the opportunity of using his favorite technological devices like smartphone, computer, tablet, which he uses all the time. And it's much more fun to learn using your favorite devices. Um, unlike using textbooks or notebooks. So uh, the persona here is the student has access 
to technological devices. He has a smartphone, desktop computer at home, and he spends most of the time there. So besides entertainment, he spends a lot of time like to learn things. Uh, communication channels that he uses. He doesn't like to overlap the social side uh, with the school. So for the school, he prefers to use dedicated platforms such as Masovet, etc. And the other social platforms, he wouldn't like to use them for school because he considers them like the fun part, okay, just for social, the social side. how you can simpli simplify learning content. Alban thinks that the learning content can be helped if we can accompany texts with images or videos, explanatory videos, because if you get to learn some new concept and you also see it visually, it means that you uh, learn it better or using Google Forms where for each question you can pick some alternative, some option, and you get the automatic uh, correct answer. And this way he can check in real time if the knowledge he has acquired is the proper one or not. If he is happy with the, the offer about this, I couldn't really understand the question, but my opinion, like what is being offered through the digital way, let's say, or digital learning right now. That's what I was thinking. And in terms of the digital teaching, he's really happy so far, but he thinks that there is place for improvement because he would like all the teachers to use a unified method for the development of learning content. So as when they download the learning content, he would feel like happy to learn everything and not think that this is less attractive than the other one because the learning content is maybe overloaded, not well organized, etc. Okay, thanks a lot for that overview. Um, how many personas did you create? Uh, two, three? Three, we have one of the colleagues here today, but another one is not uh, present. Okay, okay. perfect. So three That's, personas. So, perfect. If you could send, if you could send those uh, persona sheets to Mira so she can translate them for us. Um, for us, it's also important to, to understand your, uh, your, your students and this, this helps us a lot. Uh, so thanks a lot for your work. So. Okay. Um, how are we going to use this uh, going they, they going forward? Um, every time we start uh, developing content, we always do the persona work first. So we have an understanding of you know the motivation, but also the issues of our of our target audience, and we use we use those persona sheets uh, when we when we start creating the. the content because usually what what happens uh people tend to to overload overload their you know their, their content and and thus make it make it almost too complicated for for the students and it's in a digital setting it's difficult when they can't you know reach out to a teacher and because they most of the time they're by themselves so it's important that you keep uh that you reduce the content uh, only to the to the most important to the most important things. So and the personas help us with this. We can always check: Hey, does this content is it relevant for for this persona? Does this, this this solves his issue or his his problems? That's why we use them. Um, obviously, in in your setting, you don't have to recreate the personas every time you you work with content, because you know your students they're going to stay students and you will you will find the same archetypes of students with every with every new class but it's good that you've done that work once and, uh, and we think you can you can keep using those personas in the in the future um so uh, how how are we going to continue the 
the workshops. Um, over the next couple of weeks, uh, we're going to develop together uh, a topic of, of your choosing. Um, and we're going to write a script that in the end we can create an e-learning an e-learning module. Uh, why an e-learning module? Because we think it's a it's it's a good format to to incorporate different kinds of media. You know, you can incorporate images, graphics, videos, even audio, and different types of, of questions. So we we believe it's it, it's a good format, and it also uh, if it's done well, it can it's also an attractive an attractive method of of learning so uh, we have some homework for you for next tuesday and that would be as a group uh, you know pick one topic that you would like to develop uh, an e-learning module for so i think you're the electro engineering group uh, uh, yes electro electrotechnical group right um, so I don't know. Let's I don't know. Introduction to electric current could be could be a topic. It's important to keep in mind that a new learning module shouldn't exceed uh, a learning time of of twenty twenty to to thirty minutes. So choose a topic that can be developed, keeping keeping that that time frame twenty to thirty minutes of learning time that can fulfill that, that purpose. Um, so your task for Tuesday, just pick one topic. Maybe, you, know, you have to discuss within the group which topic this should be, but just pick one topic that you think you can create a, an e-learning module for. And then going forward, we're gonna develop with you uh, a script that you can actually use to then develop the e-learning module. We will also show you some, some tools during the next couple of weeks where you can uh, easily create e-learning modules and you know maybe create some media some some illustrations in, in an easy easy way um, so that you can incorporate all of this uh, within your within your e-learning module um, is is your task for tuesday is that understandable Somebody is speaking, but yes, yes, okay. Okay, yes. perfect. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, from our side, that was it for the for the first coaching um, coaching session. So we ah, see you. Is it necessary to present some other persona, let's say, that we have prepared, uh, developed? It would be nice. It would be nice if you can send them uh, to to Mira directly, so she can translate them for us, and we can have a look. Okay. Okay. So if there are no more questions, uh, we see you next next Tuesday. Um, if you have any other questions, uh, there's still a, a Padlet a Padlet board that we used um, Tuesday, where you can just post your your questions. Tino and I are going to monitor monitoring this this Padlet and try to answer you as as as, as quickly as, as possible. So if there are no more questions, we wish you a, a happy weekend already, and we we'll see you next Tuesday. Follow me, David. Follow me, follow me, David. Bye. Thank you. Bye. So here as a for the person later. Bye, Shim. Bye, Philip. Bye, Sirita. Bye.